prime time. Hi, balls. Balls. Morning, How are guys. You? What I'm is great. up? Uh... The draft is only uh, three weeks away. Yes. Do you believe it? Mm-hmm. It's, it's coming actually... fast. A little what we have known, if we talked about it for five months, it'd be right around the corner. It's finally here. It's actually going to happen. With that being said, Jadavian Clowney, you'd think, would be the choice if he's somehow right. there at number three. Let's say he's not. Mm-hmm. Who do you choose, Joe Cowart, as the GM of the Jacksonville Jaguars? I have gone back and forth on this, and now I am ready to say Sammy Watkins. And the reason uh-huh. I say that is because Justin Blackman is nowhere to be found. We're talking about a minimum, I think, of an eight-game suspension. They do not have the full complement of receivers that they need. Go with Sammy Watkins. Match him up with Cecil Shorts. If Blackman comes back, it's a bonus. They've got nothing at the wide receiver spot right now. If no clowny, give me Sammy. I love it. Hacker, counter? Balls, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, man. I don't think they're going to do it, but if you're asking me what I would do... I am drinking the Johnny football Kool-Aid. Slinging Johnny. Bring Johnny Manziel to Jacksonville. Wow. I've seen enough. I've seen enough in his pro day. I've seen enough in his competitiveness. I've seen enough talent on the field. Yeah. I have simply seen enough to make me think that dude is going to be a stud in the NFL. Bring Johnny Manziel to Jacksonville. You know he's only 5'8". That is perfectly fine. <laughs> now, I would go with the whole Johnny Jaguar thing because yeah. we started that on this show. I'd go with that. I just don't Johnny think Jaguar. they will. I just don't think they will. I don't think they will either, but do you have the sense that this is a gigantic smokescreen? Do you have any thought yeah. process yeah. That, that that maybe it's just a hunch? The yeah. interesting you, thing is, you like know, the, Bridgewater talk is all but gone. Bortles a little bit, Manziel a little bit. Yeah, they could be hiding something. I'll tell you something interesting, too, Balls, though, about a quarterback. Aaron Murray's pro day yesterday at Georgia. Seven guys yeah. from the Jaguar staff, including head coach Gus Bradley, right. offensive coordinator Jed Fish, went up there. Yeah. That's one to keep your eye on in the mid rounds. Well, Aaron Murray. Maybe they just wanted to make a road trip together. Yeah. Well, that's true, but may, or may hit a Waffle House. Up sure, there. but, there's a few. And see, that was just judging Georgia. Mm. But maybe go with a receiver, then maybe go with a, another threat defensively, defensive end. Let's just say maybe our guy sure. Drew Ford, and then maybe Aaron Murray in the third round. It's not bad. You get Aaron Murray, you let Chad Henney. Own that position for a while. Let Aaron Murray get healthy. I love it. Joe, Sammy, Hacker, Johnny. Yes. Thank you, guys.